11 begins with breaking news. The National Weather Service confirms four tornadoes touched down in our area. Two in Montgomery County, one in Frederick County, and one in Leesburg, Virginia. This is what they left behind. Piles and piles of debris. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. This storm came in quickly, right around the time your kids were getting on the bus, and it was pretty scary. Tonight, the trees and the branches are still scattered across yards and roads in Maryland and Virginia. A lot of us woke up to debris slamming the windows. In some areas, the damage was much worse. Now, this is where that Frederick County tornado touched down the Warrior K9 Connect facility in Boyd's, Maryland. And scenes like this make you want to hold your loved ones a little closer. The people who own Burl Farms in Frederick County are dealing with extensive damage from a tornado. You're going to hear their story in a few minutes. But first, let's talk about those tornadoes. Adam Longo has been in Leesburg all day getting an up close look at the damage. We're going to go there in just a moment. But first, the chief, you've got that brand new information about those four tornadoes. Tom. Yeah, we sure do. We're going to take you back in time with the radar and kind of set this up. So here's the deal. This is the radar between about seven o'clock and nine o'clock. That's when all the tornadoes occurred. And you look at a couple of things. You want to look at this area in particular. That's the area that produced a tornado in Leesburg and also in Montgomery County and also up near Monrovia and Frederick County. So we'll zoom in. This is now seven, seven to eight o'clock. And once you look right in this area, this is the storm that pushes through and does the damage in Leesburg. And in fact, if you look carefully, that's pretty much a hook echo. You don't see that too often in summer, uh, let alone in February. Look at the deep reds. You don't see that too often. This reminds me of the radars we saw every Friday in July. All right, we'll move up now. Look at this. This is just before it moves into uh, Bucky's uh, around Bucky's town and also near Germantown about 740. That's what the radar looked like. And these are all damaged. This is all reports of damage last 12 hours. Those are all the trees that are down. Now, when the investigators go out to look, if it was were in fact a tornado, they look for pattern damage. So when the crew goes out, so you say you have a tornado, they have these circular winds, these swirling winds, tornadic winds, and they leave a, a telltale pattern. They really do. So when the National Weather Service goes out and they see the trees, if all the trees are neatly in a line, that's straight line winds. But in this case, the trees were more in a circular pattern, and they did, in fact, confirm it was a tornado. Now let's take a look at the path of that tornado. Okay, so we'll start with the one in Leesburg on the ground for 3.3 miles. Maximum winds 85 miles per hour and EF0. 86 miles per hour, though, makes it an EF1. And that is the track through Leesburg and then up just sort of parallel to 15. Okay, now we're going to move up into Montgomery County. This is the one near Dickerson. This is an EF1. So winds were 95 miles per hour. This is only on the ground for about a mile. And also will slide back down a little bit. And this is near Boyd's, not far from the Suckerplex. That was on the ground for about 2.3 miles. Winds were 80 miles an hour, still an EF0. And finally, the last one in Frederick County near Monrovia, uh, on the ground for six miles, winds 105 miles per hour. That is a high EF1. We're going to send it back to Adam, been in Leesburg, Virginia, all day. This storm cut quite an angry swath of destruction through this part of Loudoun County in Leesburg. What we're seeing a lot of tonight, this repeated throughout this community, a lot of fresh cut trees because of so many that have fallen down. You can see in this apartment complex here just a number of them here. One of the most scary parts about this is when it happened. So look up there. You can see that's a chimney. There's a chimney series lining the roof of this apartment complex here. Well, this is what happened when the storm came through about 745 this morning. Several of those chimneys just plummeted to the ground, and this is right as kids were about to head out and get on the bus stop to go to school. You can see another one here just 15 feet away. About a quarter mile away now off of Battlefield Parkway and Route 15. This is the area of Leesburg that took the brunt of the storm. Take a look at what it did to the side of this townhouse. Right here, what you're seeing is the siding of that townhouse that just got peeled back and ripped off. You can see that it's still open and exposed right now. There are trees down all across this neighborhood, trees on top of cars as well. In fact, one couple over here who was trying to sell their home just listed it yesterday. It has roof damage and a whole bunch of trees down in the backyard. They're going to have to get all that cleaned up before their plant open house on Sunday. One of the scariest parts about this whole thing is that it did not come with any warning. This area was not under a tornado warning or even watch at the time. The residents here, the first sign they had that something was going wrong is when the storm was already right on top of them. 
in Leesburg tonight. I'm Adam Longo, WUSA 9 News. All right, ads. Thanks. Now let me put a face on this. Actually, three. You've got Wayne Burrell, Wayne Jr. and granddaughter Amanda. The tornado leveled their family farm in Monrovia in Frederick County, Maryland. And Wayne Jr. told our Bruce LeShan he heard those winds coming and he had 10 seconds to jump in a closet. You thought, oh, I thought exactly. you, your mobile home was going to fly yeah, oh, away. Oh, most definitely. And you just feel like it's a miracle that you're oh, even here yeah, on yeah. earth with us today. Yeah, yeah. Amanda, how does it feel that, to see this destruction, know your dad was here? I'm and so thankful he's all right, but it's just devastating to see the farm that I grew up on. I mean, it's just tore apart. Three generations all wondering whether insurance will be enough to rebuild all they lost in those few minutes.